So welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now on question number four from the P4 Pure Mathematics P4 International A Level in Excel January 2022 exam. Question here is a regular isosahedron, isosahedron of length side length x centimeters. I think I said that correct. Isosahedron shown in Figure One is expanding uniform, so it's expanding. All right, so the sides are variable, but they are all the same length. The isosahedron consists of 20 congruent equilateral triangular faces of length x centimeters. So the, basically, they're all there's 20 equilateral triangles. Each of them have <coughs> a side length x centimeters. We got to first show that the surface area of the isosahedron is given by a equals 5 times root 3x squared. So we have 20 isosceles triangles. Okay, all the side length, all of them have side length x. That means the angles are 60 degrees. So we know that the area of a triangle is given by um, a half AB sine C, if we don't know the vertical height. So that's probably the easiest way of dealing with this one. So we have 20 triangles times a half times x times x times the sine of the angle between them okay so the area of a triangle this is the area of one of the triangles and this is 20 of them there's 20 that make up the surface the surface area so that should give us an answer to the answer is going to be 10 x squared times root 3 over 2 sine 60 is root 3 over 2 which gives us the 10 and the 5 cancel out, uh, 2 cancel out, sorry, to give us 5. So A is going to be 5 times root 3 times x squared centimeters squared. So that is the area, the surface area of the isosahedron, and it's exactly as we had to show. So 20 isosceles triangles. The easiest way to work out the area of one of those triangles is a half A, B, sine C, half times two sides times a sine of the angle between them. So there's part A done. Now for part B. It says, given that the volume of the isosahedron is given by V equals 5 over 12, 3 plus root 5 x cubed, show that dVdA equals 3 plus root 5 x over 8 root 3. Remember, this is expanding. So the volume is increasing, the surface area is increasing, everything's increasing as it's expanding. X is, is basically getting bigger at a certain rate. Now we want to show that the rate of change of volume with respect to the area is given by this expression here. So we're going to use the chain rule here. We, we want to find dv dA. Um, what we have, okay, or what we can use, because we have v in terms of x and a in terms of x, we can say we can find what dv dx is, all right? And how do I find dv dA if I have dv dx? Well, I've got to get rid of the x. So I'll put x on the top, dx over and I want to end up with a um, dA in the denominator, so I'm going to put dA here. That's going to cancel out. That leaves us with dV dA. So if I can find what dV dx is and dx dA is, I can then combine them together to give me dV dA, which hopefully should give us this expression. So let's start with V. V is equal to 5 over 12 times 3 plus root 5 times x cubed, and A is given by 5 times root 3 x squared. So we want to find dv dx. Now dv dx is when you differentiate this expression with respect to x. Now this is just a constant here. So it looks a bit weird, but actually it's just a constant. So it's like 3 times 5 over 12. Okay, so that's, um, well, 5 over 4, I think. That's going to be, I'll just write it out. 3 times 5 over 12 plus, times 3 plus root 5 take one from the power. Multiply by the power and take one from the power. And this is going to give us dA dx is going to be 2 times 5, which is 10 times root 3. That's dA dx um, times x. Take one from the power. Okay, so 10 root 3 x, that's dA dx. Now, as I said, this simplifies, that becomes 5 over 4. So dV dx becomes 5 over 4 times 3 plus root 5 x squared. Now we want to find dv dA. Now dv dA, as we said, is dv dx, which is this, 5 over 4 times 3 plus root 5x squared. 
multiplied by dA dx, which is basically the reciprocal of this, which is 1 over 10 root 3x. So if we simplify this, the 5 cancels with the 10, giving you a 2. The x cancels with the x squared, giving you the x. So you can say dV dA is equal to, this is going to be on the top, um, 3 plus root 5 times x over 4 times 2, which is 8 root 3. Okay, now we have to show 3 plus root, yeah, that's exactly what we have to show. 3 plus root 5x over 8 root 3. That's exactly what we've shown, and that's what we have to show. That's part P done, B, B done. Yeah, so that, that's done there. So we use the chain rule. dv dA is dv dx times dx dA. So we found what dv dx is by just multiplying by the power, taking one by the power. Don't get confused by all of this. It's just a constant. It's just like a constant, but written in exact form, third form. Same here. 5 root 3 is just a constant. So just follow the same method. Multiply by the power, take one from the power, and then you multiply dv dx by dx dA, which is the reciprocal of dA dx, and it comes out exactly as we have to show. And that's the answer to part B. All right, so that's part B done. Now part C, it says the first, the surface area of the isosahedron is increasing at a constant rate of 0 0.025 centimeters squared per second. That means dA dt is equal to 0 0.025 centimeters squared per second. All right, that's the rate of increase of the surface area. We want to find the rate of change of the volume when x equals 2. So we want to find dV dt. We want to find dV dt. All right, now what we have is dA dt. We, to make it into dV dt, we have to multiply it by dV dA. All right, and I think we, that's what we just found in the last part of the question. Yep, there it is. That's what we had to show and what we found in the last part of the question. And so we have that here. So we know that basically dV dt is going to be dA dt, which we know is 0 0.025 times uh, dV dA, uh, which is 3 plus root 5 over 8 root 3 times x, which we want to find when x equals 2. When x equals 2, so you multiply by 2. All right. So there we have, yeah, that will give us our answer. All right, so if I just stick that in my calculator, I will get the rate of change of volume, which is, means the change of volume with respect to time. So let me take the calculator and stick this in my calculator. You have 0 0.025 um, times, th uh, let's say times 2 it out here because that 2 will multiply that so times 2 times 3 plus 5 root 5 3 plus root 5 close that bracket divided by 8 root 3 and that gives us 0 0.0189889 0 0.01889 dot 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 it says to two significant figures so that's going to equal 0 0.019 that's the second significant figure and that's the rate of change of volume, that's centimeters cubed per second, the VDT. So there's the answer for part C, and that's the question finished. Okay, so that's, that's the end of this question. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Other questions that you might want to watch from this particular paper can be found in this playlist over here. Other questions from this topic of this is, um, I guess, rates of change, the related rates of change. It's part of, um, I guess, differentiation. It's, it's part of the differentiation topic in, in uh, P, P4. So you'll find other questions about differentiation in this particular um, playlist over here. And you can click on this link here to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.